First of all, I was reading your article, uh, and a very good article. It was a solution to Mississippi's health care crisis staring us in the face. So if we do have a solution and it's staring us in the face, is it obvious? And if it is obvious, why haven't we done it? It's all yours. Well, often in, po- often in politics, it's easier for politicians to identify a problem than it is to actually solve it. And this is particularly true with healthcare mm-hmm. in Mississippi. There's no shortage of politicians who will emote and sometimes talk rather theatrically about a, a, a healthcare crisis. They rather um, theatrically describe it. But actually, mm-hmm. rather than just emoting about this, there's something they can do about it. Um, they have it in their gift to remove a series of deliberately and intentionally anti-competitive laws set up in order to limit the range and number of healthcare providers in our state. These are the so-called certificate of need or the con laws. Uh, these mm-hmm. were created about um, a generation ago. And essentially, if you are a healthcare provider wanting to provide a new service or expand an existing service, or, or even if you just want to spend $1.5 million of your own money in buying a piece of equipment, you have to get one of these permits, these con permits. And what this does is it limits the range of healthcare providers, which suits the existing providers, but it's not great for the state of Mississippi. It's not good for patients. So if politicians mm-hmm. actually want to do something practical, they can remove these restrictions. And we published a report showing not only why they need to do it, but how they could do it. So we, we hope that actually rather than just talking about Mississippi's healthcare problems, they'll do one of the few things in their gift to actually fix 